We just pulled off the freeway because this place looks like a movie set. This is unreal. We're standing <laughs> on the side of a hill. Why? Because there's a barn there we want you to see. What is that? Started hailing, as you can see. I bought you that island right out there. Oh my God, they're there, they're there. Hi guys, guess where we're going on this episode? Wait, 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 let me give them a hint. I got a hint. <laughs> where are we going? <laughs> Bahamas? I'm crazy, Hawaii? guy. Do you know that it, it is July in, in, uh, Florida, and my husband's in this car. <laughs> <laughs> Talk faster, would you? We're going to Colorado. Guess we are, <laughs> woo -hoo! Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do like a round trip in Colorado. Yep. We're going to land in Denver, then we're going west to Georgetown, yep. then to Breckenridge, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. Then to Leadville, and we got a secret that that we're gonna reveal to you in Leadville. Yeah. And then from there, we're going a little south to Woodland Park, Manitou Springs, which is where I grew up. So I'll be able to take you to some of the spots. Where we met 52 years ago. Yes. 53 years ago now. <laughs> and then Colorado Springs, and then back to Denver to fly back home. Be home. So I'm really super excited about it. I can't wait to get into that nice, cool, Colorado weather away Me from the either. humidity. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> the humidity of Florida. <laughs> My husband is so hot he can't even talk. I'm doing all the talking. <laughs> What's new? Anyway. Hey. <laughs> so join us. Yeah, we're gonna have a good time. Come on. We're here. <laughs> All right, here's our first stop. Over there is the Georgetown Loop Railroad. Uh, used to be used for miners back in the day, and now they take the public out and give them tours of the area. So it looks like it should be fun, let's go. Drip. What are you waiting for? I'm waiting for the train to come in from down there. See the tracks? Is that what these metal things are? <laughs> I think you're moving a picture of just the train tracks. off the most fun ride. It was like an hour ride on a steam engine. It's called the Georgetown Loop Train. It take, 
the original one was erected in like 1884 and it was used until like 1938 and then it was abandoned. But then the Colorado Historic Society came in in the 70s and restored it. And what originally was used for was to um, go between two mining towns, Georgetown and the, Sil the Silver Plume. So it was, it was just really fun. It took us through some really pretty scenery and over this really cool, um, really high bridge over this beautiful Colorado River. So I highly suggest you go see it if you're in the area. It was really a lot of fun. We totally enjoyed it. That is our hotel we stayed at last night. We are surrounded by this Georgetown Lake. Gosh, it's beautiful. People are fishing here too. And then this is the other side of the lake right there. Gorgeous. Look at all these great little shops. like a perfect little Colorado mining town. Yep. Right late, in the middle of the mountains. Late 1800s. Oh, we gotta get out and go shopping. <laughs> okay, we just had breakfast at the cutest little place called the Happy Cooker. It's adorable, isn't it? Wonderful. Really good food, really great uh, waitress called Annie. If you come here, I highly suggest you eat there. Ask for Annie. And uh, they have a specialty, which is these huge cinnamon rolls. And Steve and I had quite a few bites of the cinnamon roll, and look at what's left. This thing is humongous. Look at that. <laughs> and it was delicious. So if you come to Georgetown, Come to the Happy Cooker. Now we're going downtown. This thing. Oh my god. How do I zoom in? How do I zoom in? Oh my gosh, they're there. Oh, it's coming down. Oh no, that is so cool. Didn't I tell you that was going to be good? Yes, and it was. <laughs> that was awesome. I love those longhorn sheep. I just, I love your reaction to it when it happened. <laughs> I think that video is going to be all over the place. <laughs> Comedy hour. It was so good, though. I'm so glad we went there. Let's go. Moving out, we are headed to Breck and Ridge. Go ahead. Did you ever think the ride to Breckenridge would be so beautiful? Oh, it's amazing. Look at this. I bought you that island right out there. Oh, let me see. Which one? Hey, oh there's my. some kayakers getting close to it. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Look the clouds. Dear Lord. Oh, dear Jesus. <laughs> yeah, he did a good job. Yes, he did. How you can tell when it's breaking leaves. There's a storm, storm coming. coming. <laughs> I 
We were on our way to go on the gondola ride in Breckenridge, and then we hit a hailstorm. Storm. <laughs> so we're hoping and praying that will pass so we can go on the gondola ride. See? <laughs> in case I didn't believe you. At least we got a kind of dry place to stay. Yeah. Waiting and praying. See you on top. Oh, we got caught in the rain. Hello. Oh gosh. We made it. Hallelujah. Okay, let me in, let me in. We made it. Here we, here we, here we go. Here we start, here we go. <laughs> It has been like a little bit of a roller coaster when you take off. Yeah. Let's take a video of each of us taking a video. Oh, do we look like tourists? <laughs> Put yours down so I can see your face. There. <laughs> this is really cool and free. Can't be more cool than that. And if it's free, <laughs> it's, it's for, for me. me. <laughs> We're on the gondola ride. This area of it is so gorgeous. We get a view of lodging, probably for skiing because over that direction are ski slopes. Here and up there. Pretty cool. When you get off the gondola, you got all this cool stuff up here. Ski lift. And over here is an alpine sled thing. Pretty cool. You want to get a room up there? Yeah. <laughs> I think I could climb up that roof there and we can sneak in one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Eating here. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> Wings for Stephen. Strawberry goat cheese and bison. Buffalo, Buffalo soup. Yum. Oh yeah, chili, not soup. Hello. Hey. Good, good morning. This is the third day of our great Colorado adventure. And that's what we're calling it because we want to sound important. <laughs> so we are in Leadville today. So ta-da! Mount Massey, right Wait, for you. Look at that. So beautiful. Yesterday we were in Breckenridge. Breckenridge. <laughs> but we kind of got rained out. We did get to go on the gondola yes. <laughs> and have lunch there. And then we headed to Leadville. So today we're going to go back to Breckenridge. There's a Blue Lake Trail up there and they said it's really easy for people that live in the mountains probably and we're from Florida. Yeah. So <laughs> if we get up to the trail and get up to the mountain, if we don't make it, make us a promise, play this video at our funeral, would you please? Yeah, because you know what? It's hard to breathe here. Ah. I mean, I feel like I'm hiking when I go from the bathroom to the bed at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> and when I get in the bathroom, I can't remember what I'm in there I know, for. Or, or we're like lightheaded and, and we can't remember anything. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is going on because we don't know what we're doing. I'm but we'll come you, back to Leadville crazy. tomorrow. I've got a lot of family history here. We'll go over that tomorrow. So hopefully it'll be a blessing. This is unreal. We are, we just pulled off the freeway because this place looks like a movie set. It's unbelievable how beautiful it is. Right down over here, show them, honey. There's a, a, a trail that goes off into the mountains there, which we are not going to go on. <laughs> but can you even imagine? I think that's why there's cars here. They're probably on that trail taking me somewhere. It's so freaking gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's going to take us forever to get in Breckenridge at this rate. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, he's eating a dandelion. Look at right there. It's 
So now we're on the road, the dirt road is taking us to that lake. Blue Lake, right? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Not the Cali. best up camp road either. But we are seeing a few cars, so I don't know if it's going to be. I hope it's not crowded up here. It will be. It will be? Yep, 3rd of <laughs> July. No, 2nd of July. And we got, if you notice, there's the little raindrops on the window. I don't know, I'm getting ready to give up on Breckenridge. It doesn't like us. Every time we get here, it starts raining. Okay, so we're here. There's a beautiful lake down there. Wow. Isn't that pretty? Oh, beautiful. But the one we want to hike around, we got to go up there. Oh. We got to hike before we even get up to the lake. And we got this stormy looking skies. Oh, hallelujah. Isn't that special? So, I think we're not going to do this hike today. We got started in. What is that? Started hailing, as you can see. We ran back to the car, but we were caught in a lot of it. So I think, you know what? I think Breckenridge doesn't like us. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to go on this hike now. We will come on it the next time we visit Colorado. All right. <laughs> Tell Breckenridge goodbye. Hello. Bye. Hey. Hi. <laughs> We're standing on the side of a hill. Why? Because there's a barn there we want you to see. Like you even give a rip. Anyway. Okay, welcome to another day of our great Colorado adventure. You got that right. <laughs> Yesterday, we spent the whole day trying to fight Breckenridge weather, and we finally gave up and said, we are done with you, Breckenridge. Okay. Rain and hail, whatever. <laughs> so well, now we are in Leadville, and the reason we are here, not only it's a great uh, gold, gold mining town, but it also has a bunch of history from the Steves family, and we're going to try to find some of the properties that we know that was here back in the 1800s and see if there's anything left. We have a couple pictures of both places, one from 1806 and the other one from 1905. We'll show those to you. And then we'll go on a hunt looking for the location, either the vacant lot or a building that kind of looks like it. So then we'll let you do the test and then you let us know, okay? Yeah, the, one of the families had, like, he was really well known in the area. There was like uh, newspaper clippings written about oh, him. Have those some people sent us that we did research and they sent us the, some of the really coolest stuff from here. So, uh, the newspaper write-ups and they sent us uh, different locations trying to help us to find it. We're so thankful for those people in this yes. town that did that. We wish that we could meet them, but this is a Saturday. Thank and you, Holly and here. Annie. Yes, thank you, Holly and Annie. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're getting ready to go downtown. We want you to see if you recognize the building you tell us or something we don't know but come on the adventure begins Ooh. you think this the one or is it this one or is it this one my great-grandfather was trustee of that bank so he's here when it first opened up Charles, poking horn. Pretty cool. Yep. Well, we looked up in the city registry. This was poking horn's house, late 1800s. He might have been the guy that uh, built it, right? Great grandpa. Pretty awesome. Here we so go. we left Leadville, and I'm so glad because there was so much traffic for 4th of July, and I'm exhausted looking for addresses for this guy. <laughs> so we saw a sign for Turquoise Lake that Steve and I had been to many years ago, and it was beautiful. So we thought, hey, let's go someplace where there's not so many people. Yep. <laughs> and so here we are. We're getting ready to go to the lake, and we're going to show it to you guys. It's going to be beautiful because yes, it's it is. turquoise. <laughs> Holy cow, still as beautiful as I remember it. Wow. 
all this is so beautiful. You know, when you're out in this kind of nature, you just feel like you can hear the voice of God so clearly. But you know what? You don't have to be out in nature to hear God's voice. The Word of God says that Jesus is the Good Shepherd and that we, His people, are called His sheep. And He says that my sheep know my voice and that they hear it. And it's so true. I mean, I heard the voice of God in a commercial once. <laughs> it was this commercial about jewelry, I guess, because it was this man and young man and woman, and they were in Italy, I guess, because there, there's this big piazza, and there is all this Italian architecture all around them. And the man had just given the woman a ring, and then he took her hand, and he ran out into the middle of the piazza, and all these pigeons flew up, and he spread out his arms, and he said, I love this woman. And I thought, oh my gosh, God, that's how we should be with you. We should be like, I love this God. I love my Jesus. And then the voice of God spoke to me. And he said, Carol, I am the groom. And you are the bride. And it's so true. And he said, I am the one that's saying, I love this woman. Because the, the church is known as the bride of Christ. And Jesus loves us so much that he died for us. It's true. He's the one yelling, I love this woman. <laughs> and you know what? He can talk to you too. Just like he talked to me in a commercial because he loves you that much enough to die for you so all you have to do is just ask him to speak to you and he will and just listen because he loves you he loves you so much that he died for you because he's just that good he's such a good good god we are so blessed thank you jesus How did you enjoy that great episode of our great Colorado adventure? I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but anyway, we still have so much more to show you of Colorado. So we're going to do two, yes, two episodes of the great Colorado adventure. And if you're the first 10 people that call in, you will receive. Oh, <laughs> yes. no. We thing. do sound like we're selling something. This is the infomercial with Stephen Carroll coming in. <laughs> But anyway, before we uh, end this episode, we have to tell you about something we did on the 4th of July that was uh, amazing. Yeah, we went down to uh, Andrew Womack's Ministries in Woodland Park. He has Karis Bible College there. It's just, it's an amazing college that's set back in the woods right at the foot of Pikes Peak. Ah, it has these amazing views of Pikes Peak that just blow your mind. And it's, it's a great Bible college. They... Um, they have a curriculum that's all based upon the Bible, the Word of God, and on grace. Yes. We know several people that have uh, uh, graduated from there, and they just rave about it. So if you have anybody that wants to go to Bible college, children, grandchildren, or even if you want to go to Bible college yourself. If we... you know everything about the Bible, go teach. <laughs> but anyway, if you do know anybody, check check out Karis Bible College. But yeah. what we wanted to tell you about was a program that we saw there on the 4th of July that was amazing. It's called In God We Trust and they do it every every year on the 4th of July. So if this is being aired on the 4th of July, pack up and go there. Yes. It's a multimedia. It has singing, dancing, acting, <laughs> not much dancing. I don't think uh, dancing. <laughs> uh, and videos on the screens. And, it's and well so, worth it. Yes, and we're going to show you a clip of it because we can explain it ourselves. You just have to see a little bit of it to know. So let's start it. Here it is. Even in our darkest moments, no, a light imperishable still burns. I have a dream. A beacon of freedom and liberty and peace. So whatever circumstances may lie arrayed against you, 
It is up to you and me to keep the faith. Keep that flag flying. What do we say, Williams? Williams, what do we say? So what did you think? I thought it was good. <laughs> the program is awesome. But if you're like me, you should bring a box of tissue because I think I cried through three quarters of that program. Yeah. I mean, there are things like, I have a dream and God bless America. Yeah. Oh man, it gets me every time. So now we're gonna tell you about this second episode. What we're gonna do is we're heading down to Manitou Springs. There is a very famous person that was raised in Manitou Springs. Me, at least I'm famous to him. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you around Manitou and I'm going to take you to my high school. I'm going to take you to the Garden of the Gods because if you're in Colorado Springs or Manitou, you need to go to the Garden of Gods. Absolutely. And then we're going to go to... Up Ute Pass, past Woodland Park and then to Cripple Creek, Colorado. Yeah. That's uh, on the other side of Pikes Peak. That's where we had a gift shop in the summer of 1976, the Bicentennial. Yes, and Stephen was a silversmith and made turquoise and silver jewelry. I did Carol macrame. Carol did macrame far out groovy, huh? <laughs> We're going to show you our shop, and I think we'll probably do some other things. We should do some other things the, on the way. this episode awesome just for you. Well, we're waiting for you. So come on. Well, we got You're going to be kidding me. The helicopter's going to go over while we're videotaping. Here we go. Hey, welcome Take 97. to <laughs> Breckenridge. We did the Gonzola and we did lunch downtown. Wait, wait. Gonzola is cheese. <laughs> Gonzola. <laughs>